Hey everybody, I'm back again today with another video. And today, you know, we're gonna talk about luxury. Cheers. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. And today I figured we'd speak about Chanel. And if you're interested in seeing my Chanel perfume collection, stay tuned. I have a very small Chanel perfume collection. I had three fragrances in the past and I gave one away. And now I'm down to two. And, um, you know, I really love Chanel fragrances. I know some of them can be hit or miss. Some of them can be really strong and get kind of get this reputation to be old lady-ish. But, you know, I think with them trying to revive um, their perfume, the perfume side of the brand, I think they've kind of played more into the more youthful side of things with their fragrances. So I have two fragrances. I have the... Um, Gabrielle by Chanel fragrance. This is one of their more newer fragrances. And then I have their tried and true Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. I don't speak French, okay? Don't come for me. Um, and the this one is just a tried and true timeless uh, fragrance for the fashion house. And I used to have the oh so classic Chanel number no. five perfume. But you know, I gave it away. I gave it to my mother-in-law because I can appreciate the beauty of the bottle and it's just um, the classicness and the timelessness that comes with the Chanel Number no. 5 fragrance, but it was just not for me. Like it's too heavy, it's too strong, it's not it's not it's just not the type of fragrance that I would ever see myself wearing to be quite honest. I just had it as a display piece, but I would never wear it. And if I did wear it, it would give me a headache. So I just had to part ways with it. They, they came out with the uh, Chanel number no. five, I think Lou version. And I think that's the more like toned down version of number no. five, but I still also don't like that fragrance. So I just have been passing on it. But let's get into Gabrielle by Chanel. I actually have her pulled up here to, so we can look at the notes of this fragrance. And let's see, she is a beautiful fragrance. She's in the classic floral uh, range, which is shocking to me that I like because I'm, I usually, if I like a floral, it's because it's a floral mixed with something warmer or fresher. And I guess in this case she is because her keynotes are Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Grass Tuberose, and Lang Lang. So I guess, yeah, I can see how I could end up liking this fragrance. Um, this is a really nice, I would say, springtime, summer fragrance. It's light, it's fresh, it's airy, but then it has its little bit of musk. Um, the bottle is beautiful. It just looks like... I don't know, just like a piece of art. You can't even see the the diffuser in the middle, like in the middle. That's like bringing the fragrance up because of the way they and um, designed this bottle. It's so beautiful. It's stunning. It has the um, gold brass Chanel bottle cap on the top, and it's just it's just stunning. And I really like this fragrance. Um, I've used quite a bit of it, uh, which you know. We don't go through fragrance that quickly, so I did use quite a bit of it. This is the 3.4 ounce bottle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And it's just stunning. I got this at Sephora, and I think I actually, I think I might have gotten this, like, for free, because I, I think I used my um, Sephora points. Like, I'm a VIB Rouge at Sephora, so I think I used up, like, a ton of points, and I ended up getting, like, a $100 reward. And I, I probably paid some sort of difference for this, but this was essentially a gift from, from Sephora. So save up those points, ladies. Right. And then my second fragrance is the classic um, Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. And in this fragrance, I know they came out with a, perf a perfume version. Um, this one is really not that long wearing because this is a toilette. It is just a classic fragrance. This fragrance you can wear at any time, at any day. I think anyone can wear this, a teenager, an older woman, I mean, anybody. It's such a non-offensive fragrance. It's fresh, it's floral. This could be like an everyday scent. You could wear this like in an office. You could wear it at night. I don't 
think it's particularly a night fragrance, but it won't offend anybody because it's just so easy. It's just an easy fragrance. It's in the Fresh family. And basically its keynotes are citron, jasmine, and teak wood. So it's just very fresh, but very like just, it's literally like if you if you blind buy this for somebody like as a gift which is hard to do right because fragrances are quite personal i feel like if you blind buy this for somebody like probably 90 percent of the time like they're gonna like it like i i have yet to meet anybody who doesn't like this fragrance it's just it's just one of those. I haven't, you know, really tried the Parfum version. So I don't know if, cause you know, sometimes when fragrances go from toilet to Parfum, it, it actually changes, you know, it's chemistry a bit. It might uh, change how it smells on uh, different, on different body chemistries. But I think um, if it's anything like the toilet version, it's gonna be amazing. And then on top of that, it'll be more long wearing. This is not long wearing. I would give this like four hours of wear and then you're gonna start seeing it like kind of fade. As opposed to this one, cause this isn't all the perfume. This, this is long wearing. You could wear this all day and just like two or three spritz and you're good. Sound off below, let me know your thoughts. Um, how do you guys feel about the Chanel Beauty fragrance line? Do you guys have Chanel number no. five? How do you feel about Chanel number no. five? How do you feel about the new Chanel number no. five they came out with? And also another thing I wanna say is that if you guys purchase all this like Chanel perfume or even Chanel makeup um, on their like Chanel beauty website, they they give like good free gift with purchase um, items as opposed to like just buying them at Sephora and now Ulta, okay Ulta carries <laughs> Chanel Beauty which is like what that came out of left field but yeah if you buy it through the Chanel website they give a lot of really nice um gift with purchases I have personally never done that because I just like to use my Sephora points but if you like like these nice like little like makeup bags or like knickknacks that Chanel gives um definitely check out their website like you will not be disappointed. If you like this type of content and if you're addicted to luxury like we are here on this channel, please consider subscribing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.